Vision Forward's In Focus team presents. Hi, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward. Welcome to another In Focus deep dive. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some different voice control and dictation options built into Windows 10. And there's actually a number of different ones that we can take a look at. First of all, we're going to go into our ease of access menu. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit Windows and I to get into the settings menu here. And from here, ease of access is on the right hand side. I'll go ahead and go into there. Now on the left there's a coloured bar running vertically and inside there we have a number of subheadings of different types of accessibility. We're looking for the one called interaction which is down at the bottom and underneath there we find speech. Let's go ahead and click on there and see what we have here. And so at the top we can see that we have something that says talk instead of type and it tells you if you press the windows key plus H you can start dictation. It also says something about Cortana there. We probably won't look at Cortana in this video, uh, but Cortana is essentially a, a artificial intelligence that you can ask questions to, and she will find the answer very similar to something like uh, the Amazon Echo with Alexa. And finally, at the bottom, there's a slider to turn on and off sp speech recognition. We would want that slider to be on, so if it isn't already on, then uh, we can go ahead and turn that on. So let's go ahead now and close out of here. And I'm going to go to a Word document. Let me see if I can find one. Uh, here's one I was using earlier. Let me delete the text that's in here. And we're going to try that key command that we saw, the Windows and H key command, to turn on our dictation. I'll hear a little noise that will let me know it's ready, and then I can start dictating a sentence, and we'll see how that works. Today is the day for all good men to come to the aid of their party, period. And there we go, so we've gone ahead and dictated our sentence. Now to stop the dictation, I clicked on the microphone icon which had appeared in a grey bar at the top of the screen. We could have also pressed Windows and H for a second time to turn off the dictation and then when we wanted to use it again we could press Windows and H to turn it back on again and so on and so forth. So that worked quite well, we got our sentence. I have found this can be a bit glitchy, sometimes the microphone will turn off um, when we don't want it to. Sometimes the words that it types aren't very accurate and so on and so forth. So not perfect, uh, but it, it definitely uh, does the job. And we have to remember when we're dictating that we're, we're essentially writing, but we're using our voice. So be very careful to think about what you want to say before you start dictating, because obviously you can't really start saying, um, uh, because uh, it will try and type that. And also, we, we need to make sure that we say the punctuation. So, for example, period, comma, open parentheses, close parentheses, exclamation mark, and so on and so forth. And the computer will go ahead and type in the correct characters for that. So it's definitely a skill, and uh, like with any skill, the more you practice, the better you get. Now, confusingly, as well as pressing Windows and H, there is another way to dictate within Microsoft Office programs. I'm going to go ahead and close out my speech recognition bar here, and I'll start a new line. In the Home tab, over to the far right, there is a Dictate button, and this will also be found in other Microsoft products, for example, Microsoft Outlook. And we can click on this and then start dictating as an alternative way of dictating within our program. So let me go ahead and click on this, and I'll dictate a line. Today is a beautiful day, comma. The sun is shining and the birds are tweeting, exclamation mark. And I clicked on it a second time to go ahead and turn it off. Let's have a look here. So this time, instead of actually uh, putting a comma in, it typed in the word comma. And I have been having this problem with this particular form of dictation for some reason. I've also been having various issues with uh, with words being misspelled and things like that, which are quite strange. So I don't know if that's just my computer or whether it's a general problem, uh, but I don't uh, think it seems to work that great. Although you would assume it would be using the same speech recognition engine as when we press Windows and H, and so I'm not really sure what's going on there. 
But that gives you an alternative way to start dictating. So we have either finding the dictate button in the program that you're using, and it seems that Microsoft have included it in a lot of their programs. Or we can use Windows H when we're in a text field and uh, start dictating that way. Now, both of these methods of dictation are done online. That is to say, your computer has to be connected to the internet and the things that you say are sent uh, to Microsoft servers and then sent back to the program. Um, and so Microsoft servers are figuring out what you're saying. There is actually an offline method of dictation built into Windows, and you can also use it to control the computer, and so it does have some advantages. Now, you will find this method of dictation in the control panel. I think the easiest way to get to it is probably if we hit our Windows key and we type in the word speech. Now, the Windows Speech Recognition app is at the top. That's the one that we want. Um, but the first time that you use it, you have to set it up. And I want to kind of show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Speech Recognition in the settings here. This should open up our control panel. And start, we have some different options here. Start Speech Recognition, Set Up Microphone, Take Speech Tutorial, Train Your Computer to Better Understand You, Open the Speech Reference Card. So there's a number of options. Now, the first time that we use this, we have to set up our microphone. I would strongly suggest using a headset whenever using voice control or dictation because you will get much better results. And so let me show you what it looks like when we want to set up the microphone for the first time. So it'll ask us what type of microphone we're using. In this case, we're using this headset microphone that we have plugged in. When I press next, it's going to ask me to dictate a sentence and that will allow it to set the levels for the microphone for best results. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. And there we go, we've finished setting up the microphone. So it's quite a simple um, process for doing that. You can also choose to take some additional reading tests, or not really tests, but do some additional reading tasks, which will allow the computer to build up a speech profile for you. And the more that you do these, the better the computer will be able to understand you. And so it is recommended that you go ahead and do those, and those are located in the same place. Um, they will help the computer better understand what you're saying and uh, you will get better results. Let's just go ahead actually and go back to that same place that we were just at. So we're going to go to the speech recognition part of the control panel. Um, let's have a look here. We're going to click on the advanced speech options um, little link here on the left hand side. Um, this will open up a separate window where we can mess about with some various other things. The reason I wanted to show this is because there is an option here for enabling voice activation. And so I have got that checked at the moment and I would suggest having that checked because it allows you to turn on and off the microphone using a voice command. And this is beneficial um, because it means that you can stop the microphone listening whenever you don't want it to be listening and then turn it on whenever you need to use it. We can also change various settings, such as uh, the microphone that we're using and various things like this. Let's go ahead and hit OK for now. And we're going to, there we go, we started our speech recognition and we get a, a kind of uh, silver bar at the top of the screen and it shows us the level of our voice input and it also shows us uh, whether the microphone is currently sleeping or on or what state it's in. So I'm going to try and get the uh, speech recognition to start listening to me. And then we'll try and dictate a sentence here in Word again. Now I should be able to use the command start listening and that should wake it up and then uh, I can start to dictate. So let's give it a try here. Start listening. Hello, comma, how are you doing today? Question mark. I am doing very well, period. Stop listening. Okay, and there we go. So I said start listening and it activated the microphone and then I dictated my sentence and then I said stop listening and it deactivated the microphone. Now we did get a typo here. So we, uh, we were supposed to say, how are you doing today? But we got, how long are you doing today? And this is partly because we, I haven't trained my voice profile. 
Um, so, uh, you know, I'm not going to get the best results without doing that. That is the downside to offline speech recognition, such as I'm using here. Um, it's not as accurate without you having trained your voice profile. But once you've done that, it generally works quite well. And the advantage, of course, is that I don't have to be connected to the Internet to use this method of dictation. Now, it will also allow me to control the computer. So, uh, you know, rather than just being able to dictate with this particular speech recognition service, I can actually control the computer. So, for example, I'm going to issue I'm going to ask the computer to close this window. So let me turn on the microphone and try that. Start listening. Close window. Don't save. Stop listening. And there we go. So I asked it to close the window and because it was a Word document and we had uh, put additional text in there, it asked if we wanted to save and I said, don't save. And so it closed the window for us. So this is really cool. We can actually control our computer using our voice. And there's a number of different commands um, that we can see. And in the settings menu, there was an option to open the speech reference card that will show us all of those different commands that we are able to do. Let's try an open word. So I'm going to turn on the microphone and ask to open word. Start listening. Open word. Stop listening. And there we go. So we opened up Microsoft Word and we could have chosen any program and just asked the computer to open it and it would have done so. Now, one of the cool things about this type of uh, this type of voice control as well is we can actually issue uh, commands as if we were typing and so we can tell the computer to press a certain key combination in order to do something uh, but rather than so rather than doing it with our hands we're just doing it with our voice the nice thing about this is if you've learned a number of keyboard shortcuts you can apply those directly to your speech recognition program so for example uh, if we want to close a window, we can, of course, press Alt and F4. And uh, we can also do that with the voice by saying press Alt F4. So let's give that a try now. Start listening. Start listening. Press Alt F4. Stop listening. And there we go. We saw that we closed the window uh, by issuing a voice command. So anytime we pre say press, we can then say the keys that we want the computer to press and it will go ahead and press them for us. So this is the most flexible type of voice control and voice um, recognition that we have. And uh, it works quite well once we've trained our profile in particular. Uh, but it is a bit more complex, so if you just want to be able to dictate in Word, dictate in Outlook, then those other options are available. I hope this video was useful for you and that it gives you something to experiment with on your own. I will say dict dictation can be a very powerful tool, but also because it's not 100% accurate, sometimes it can be frustrating as it types things that you don't want it to type. And so play around and uh, see how you get on with it. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It all helps our channel. And uh, you can get in touch with us if you have any questions. You can call 414-615-0103, email infocus at vision-forward.org, or you can visit our website vision-forward.org. We release new videos every Friday, so make sure that you stay tuned, and we will see you in the next video.